Hey guys, what's going on? Yes, it is me, Brittany Nicole. I have on some crazy green eyeshadow today, but the Alien palette got my creative juices flowing. Once again, I sat down today to do my second tutorial not knowing what I was gonna do, and this is what I came up with, and I am living for it. So different for me, so pretty. Had some challenges on this eye with my lashes, which is why I look a little funky in the outer corner there, but ignore that. This is the eye we are doing on camera, and I think it came out so well. So today we're just gonna kinda have fun and do another cool toned alien palette tutorial. I've been looking on YouTube and there's really not a lot of tutorials out there for this palette, which is crazy because Blood Sugar did so well. I thought people would be all over this palette, but I think it's the cool tones that are throwing people off. Cool tones are difficult to work with sometimes. I'm getting a watery eye, by the way. I went outside and allergies, once again, are through the roof. I mentioned in the end of the video, I'm gonna do a video soon about what I do for when the shadow really starts to come out in the outer corner like this, but that's for another video. But like I was saying, I think that cool tones are difficult. Most people like to do warm tones, so I wanna try to do as many tutorials as I can. If you did pick up this palette or if you do have this palette and you're kind of looking at it like, ah, what do I do? So yes, this is intense, but I promise you it is very, very easy. Just gonna open it up. I use three main shadows for this entire look and then I highlight a little bit with another, which you really don't have to go into. So really, really easy tutorial as always. Simple and easy for hooded eyes if you have them. If you don't have hooded eyes, you can totally follow along as well. So I'm gonna stop rambling because I'm sure this video is gonna be long enough. If you're interested in seeing how I got this look right here, make sure to stick around and keep watching. So I'm well aware I still have some work on this eye to do, but we're gonna go ahead and get started here. So the first shade I'm gonna take in the Alien palette is Abduction, and I'm taking that on a Smith 232 brush just to build out my crease. And as you guys know, I always hold a little compact down low so I can look down into the mirror and I hold the ferrule of my brush right at the tip so there's not a lot of pressure at all. And that's how I start to build out my crease area. And I am taking that all the way into the inner corner so you could see right here, right in this area. And I think that just kind of makes my eyes look a little bit bigger, so I've been enjoying that lately. All right, and then switching over to a Smith 230, still going in with abduction. I'm just gonna place that a little bit lower in the crease area. The 232 is a little bit larger, so when I really get into like where my natural crease of my eye is, I like to go with the 230 because it's a little more precise. I almost started to move on to the next step without telling you guys what I was doing because I was so into it, but basically I'm just taking Flying Saucer, which is more of a dark green, still matte, be very careful with the mattes in this palette. They are so pigmented, so there is a little fallout. That's one thing I did notice. It does have a little more fallout, I think, than Blood Sugar did, but I should have gone in and done my eyes before I did my face. You could probably see some fallout in this area right here, but I don't really mind it too much. So I'm just going in with this flat shader brush, and I'm taking Flying Saucer, and I'm gonna start to build out the halo. So I'm going from outer corner to maybe a fourth of the way in here, not too much. And then I'm pretty much gonna stop right where my natural crease stops, but we're gonna blend up a little bit as we go, you'll see. So I'm gonna do the outer corner and inner corner, and like I said, I'm not gonna worry too much about fallout. And once I've got that laid, obviously not blended, I'm jumping into my Morphe M507, just taking a teensy tiny bit, teensy tiny, teensy tiny bit of flying saucer, and then I'm gonna kinda start to blend it up into abduction. And I have noticed with this shade, it's kinda like that X-File shade. If you build too much on top of it, because these are very pigmented, I'm, I'm fairly certain these are pressed pigments, it kind of starts to take the coverage away. So I, I built it up in this corner, but you could I was kind of having that issue. So you really don't need to go in and layer too much with this because it's so pigmented, but just know 
as you blend that might be something that you run into some people might see that as a flaw i just see that as a way that i have to tailor my makeup skills for the palette it's like give and take right if you're going to get a lot of pigment you might have to alter how you apply it conversely i think that's the right word conversely right if you have a palette that doesn't have quite as much pigment you might have to go in and apply layer after layer you know what i mean so i don't see that as a flaw but i did want to put that out there if you're not somebody who likes that so you're aware so i just blended that out a little bit and then i'm going to take this morphe m43 once again in flying saucer and because this one's a little bit bigger i'm going to kind of use this to blend out these outer edges and bring it over a little bit so you can see you can barely see abduction on this side that's kind of what we're getting at we just want a little bit of abduction peeking out so there's a nice blend all right and while we're here i'm going to go ahead and just take abduction and take off that little brush hair from my cheek and work that under the eye so as always i just hold my compact up and look up i'm going to try to do this so the camera doesn't focus on my mirror when i do this in camera it oftentimes focuses on my mirror so i'm going to try to hold that out of frame and I look up and then I'm just gonna kinda take that from outer corner to inner. And if this isn't focusing, I'm so sorry. All right, so that was flying saucer and then I'm just taking abduction and working that right under. So we have the same kind of fade that we have going on on the lid. All right, and then I'm going in with a little bit of this NYX glitter glue, and I'm taking that on a MAC 195. And I, when I do this, I kind of focus the product on the edges of the brush so I can really kind of use them to basically touch where I haven't applied any shadow yet. So I'll kind of go in and use the edges and i'm not going up way higher than my natural crease i might go up just a touch higher but i don't want to like super highlight my hood and then i go other side see how i'm just kind of working the shape with the edges and then i'll pat in the middle And I just kind of, I don't know if you need to, but I just kind of wait till it gets a little tacky. And then I'm going in with Alien, which is such a pretty color in the palette. Like, wait till you guys see this. Same brush, haven't taken the glitter glue off. And then same thing, I'm going to start, like, holy cow. I'm going to start on the outer edges. So pigmented. Yes, I'm gonna get some fallout, but it's okay. This is my favorite shade in the palette by far, and I'm not a green person. It is so pigmented and beautiful and reflective and just stunning. Dust away that fallout real quick, and then I'm gonna go in with my Smith 235. And I'm going to kind of work the edges a little bit. I'm going to dip a little bit, like a little, little bit into Flying Saucer just to kind of... Oh, so pretty. Like, I can't. It's so pretty. I'm actually going to jump into that small shader brush that we were using in the corners here. You can see I'm starting to lose a little pigment on the outer corner because I'm blending. So I'm just going to touch there and then also use this to kind of blend these corners a little all right so real quick i'm just gonna dip into the black shade in the palette black hole and i'm gonna run that right along my lash line up here basically where like the fold of my lashes is because i don't want to take away any lid space i just want to kind of deepen up the lash line 
And then I'm going to do it on the lower lash line as well, right up at my lashes. By the way, for the black, I'm using my Sigma Winged Liner EO6. By far, if you have hooded eyes, the best brush. Look at how tiny the brush is if it decides to focus. It's so small and it's just absolutely perfect. So again, jumping into that flat shader brush, I just wanna blend this out real quick. And then I'm gonna put a black liner on my upper waterline and a nude liner on my lower waterline. And then I'm gonna set the nude liner with abduction. So we have this kind of like lime green tint. If I had a lime green liner, I'd go in with that, but I don't, so I'm gonna make do with what I have. All right, so I went ahead and set the nude liner with abduction and now I'm taking Pluto on a pencil brush and I'm just gonna throw that right in the inner corner to really open things up and let me turn so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm also gonna take that right under the brow bone. See how this color, I really like this highlight a lot. It really just kind of opens up the eyes and then I'm taking that right on the brow bone as well. So pretty, that would be a beautiful highlight for the face as well. So I'm gonna hop off camera, I'm gonna apply my lashes. I had one hell of a time applying this lash. I think I need new glue, to be honest. So I'm gonna apply my lashes, apply some mascara, and then I will come back here and we can do some final touches and we'll complete the look. All right, you guys, lashes are on, and this is the completed look. I'm fairly confident I have on two different lashes. The lash that I had sitting here somehow disappeared. Maybe my dog took it, maybe it's on my cat, not sure, but if my lashes look a little wonky, it's because it is. I also just took the dog out, so I'm starting to get a little bit watery on this eye. Don't worry about that. I do have a video coming up about what I do when my eye starts to really water as far as makeup, so be on the lookout for that. But this is the completed look for my second alien tutorial. I think this came out so pretty, way outside my comfort zone, and once again, this palette is totally, totally challenging me to do that. Cool tones, not my typical go-to, and it's requiring me to think a little bit. I've never done an all green tutorial on my channel, but I am living for it right now. I definitely notice when I got closer to myself, there is a little bit of green shimmer fallout, which you probably noticed in the video as well. Like I said in my last video, this is one that you're probably going to want to do your base second. I did it first today. I shouldn't have, but I did. So I don't mind the fallout too much. It's not like horrible, but there's definitely a little bit of a green cast. So do your eyes before your base if you can with the Alien palette. I do think that, again, I like the blood sugar a little bit more, but I really do like this look a lot. This is like one of my favorite looks because it's so different for me but I do feel like blood sugar does have a little bit less fallout than Alien. I hope this video was helpful to some of you. Let me know if you guys have any questions at all below. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching this video and spending some time with me today. If you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe, it means the absolute world to me, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, bye-bye.